My fellow coffee lovers, this one's for you. Today we're gonna make one of my favorites, the espresso martini. And after I make the classic espresso martini, I'm gonna show you a version that doesn't use an espresso machine. Now a great espresso martini starts with great coffee, so again, I'm super excited to be partnered with Trade for this video. This service is great, I've been using it for months now. You basically fill out a quick quiz, they find out what kind of coffee you like, and then they partner with over 50 different roasters around the country to send you fresh roasted coffee right to your door. I typically like a light roast whole bean coffee, so I match with this really delicious Colombian coffee here. So as part of our partnership, Trade is actually giving the first 100 people who click the link below 50% off their first coffee. Just click the link in the description and use my code COCKTAIL2. All right, it's time to get our grind on here and make some espresso. We're gonna take two scoops and put it in the coffee grinder. The grind size should be fine, but not too fine or powdery. So we're gonna fill up this portafilter and then pat it down to get it nice and tight. Twist the portafilter into the group head and then we're gonna pull a shot of espresso. You're going for that beautiful cascading effect of the espresso that kind of looks like a Guinness beer. And that's gonna give you this nice crema that'll ultimately result in a really frothy espresso martini. All right, I feel like I'm saying espresso too much. Maybe I should switch to espresso. We're gonna take our shot of espresso, which is about one ounce or 30 mils, and put it into our shaker glass. Now we're just gonna add a little bit of sweetness to this by adding in about one fourth ounce, or what is that, seven mils of simple syrup. Next, we need some coffee liqueur or liqueur. We're gonna use Kahlua here, which is pretty standard. We're gonna add one half ounce or about 15 mils. Now we need two ounces or 60 mils of vodka, but if you called it an espresso martini, I'm only gonna give you an ounce and a half. Now we gotta chill and dilute this thing, especially cause there's hot coffee in there. So we're gonna add this to a shaker tin with ice and then shake for about 15 seconds or so. All right, so where'd this drink come from? Supposedly it was invented by a guy named Dick Bradsell in around the mid 1980s at a place called Fred's Club in London. There was a supermodel who asked for a drink that would wake her up and then fuck her up but that story could be total rubbish, who knows. All right, now you're gonna take your classic martini glass, make sure it's chilled, and then strain your cocktail into it. I don't usually double strain here, try to make sure to get maximum foam on top. And on that nice foam, we're gonna garnish with three whole coffee beans, and uh, oh, there's gotta be an easier way to do this. But uh, all right, let's see how it is, the espresso martini, cheers. And uh, yeah, this drink is a classic for a reason rich, creamy, just a little bit of sweetness, it's perfect. But if you don't have an espresso machine, here's a great recipe from Jeffrey Morgenthaler. This one takes a little prep work because we're gonna make a cold brew concentrate. Start by adding a half pound or about a quarter kilo of coarsely ground coffee to a container and then add half a liter of water. His recipe says to give it a quick stir and let it sit for about half an hour to wet the grinds and make it a little more manageable. Then you're gonna add another half liter of water. Give that a stir, cover it, and then let it sit in the fridge for about 24 hours. Ladies and gentlemen, you've got yourself some sludge. Now we're gonna strain out those coffee grounds by using a sieve first, and then after that, we're gonna strain it again through a coffee filter. This will take a little while, but it's gonna filter out some of that oiliness you're gonna get. And your reward is about half a liter of this amazing coffee concentrate. Use it wisely. And one of the wisest things to do is add one ounce or 30 mils into a glass. And then we're also gonna add some coffee liqueur. I'm gonna switch it up and use a really tasty one from Leopold Brothers. Add about three fourths of an ounce or 22 mils to the glass. And then another three fourths of an ounce or 22 mils of our vodka. Throw it in a shaker tin with ice, shake for about 15 seconds, and then we're gonna strain it into a chilled coupe glass. And just like before, we're gonna get a really beautiful color and cascade effect. Not quite as much cream as the first one, but still pretty good. And you gotta garnish with those coffee beans, so I'm just gonna salt bay them on top. That's still a thing, right? Okay, the non-espresso espresso martini from Jeffrey Morgenthaler. Yeah, that's delicious. Really well balanced, not too sweet, but also really strong, full of coffee flavor. I love this version. Thanks for watching y'all, and thanks again to Trade for partnering with me on this video. Again, Trade is giving the first 100 people who click the link below 50% off your first coffee. Just click the link in the description or here on the screen and use my code COCKTAIL2. Cheers.